Hey everyone, so today I kind of wanted to make a different type of video. I wanted to make a guide. Probably like my first guide in CTR so far. I wanted to make a guide about how to maintain blue fire on every track in the game. Well, the tracks that have blue fire obviously because, you know, not every track in this game has blue fire. I see a lot of blue fire tutorials and how to maintain it. But I think a lot of people are still a bit intimidated. Still a bit intimidated, freak man. <laughs> About how to maintain blue fire on some maps. Especially on maps that are pretty hard to maintain, you know, like Cortex Castle, Oxide Station, and Thunderstruck. So today, I'm gonna go over every track and how to maintain blue fire, how to take proper lines, or rather the lines I use in order to maintain blue fire. And I'm a big fan of blue fire. <laughs> So I'll be doing a Sacred Fire tutorial maybe in the future once I get better at Sacred Fire because it's kind of funny that, you know, I guess my proper lines with Sacred Fire just still need some work. But yeah, so I'll be going over that. Some things you will need in order to be able to understand how to maintain Blue Fire obviously is to learn how to U-turn. So if you know how to U-turning, it's very essential to holding Blue Fire. And obviously keeping up your reserves is also uh, another required thing. So I'm assuming you know how to do both of those things in order to maintain blue fire on the harder tracks that, we'll be, that we will be going over today. So, with that being said, if you don't know how to U-turn or know what the reserve system is, I recommend that you check out some tutorials about them. I can link some videos in the description if you'd like. But yeah, let's go over it and I will be going in detail about how to maintain blue fire. Like I said, don't be intimidated by blue fire. Blue fire, while I know it's hard, if you can learn how to master it, you'll destroy people online. I can guarantee you that right now. Anyways, no more talking, let's get to it. Uh, first up will be Polar Pass. So first off, it's Polar Pass. Now Polar Pass is one of my favorite tracks in the game. Um, it is the first blue fire map you will encounter in adventure mode. And it's actually, you know, quite tricky when it comes to holding blue fire on this track. A lot of people have troubles holding blue fire on this map. Um, absolutely love this track, so... <laughs> I absolutely just love racing on this track. Anyways. Um, so we will go over how to take blue fire first with sacred fire. Now this track can be quite tricky to take to, to even get blue fire. Um, a lot of people sometimes struggle taking, getting blue fire, taking the boost pad that gives you blue fire on this map. What you need to do, it can be hard if you don't align yourself properly. What you need to do though, is you need to align all the way to the right side in order to not miss the blue, the blue fire ring. Now once you have blue fire, you want to be drift along this part of the, the map right here and take the right path. You turn, you can drift once here. Take the boost pad right here, so drift along, make sure not to hit the seal. You can also take this advanced shortcut right here with blue fire while you turn right here. You can also boost, or I'm sorry, drift along that, <laughs> I guess, straight path. Other than that, it's really not that difficult. We will go over it again right here on the second lap. On the second lap, if you're scared what to do, just go ahead and just you can just jump over it like I did right there. But this part is very, very essential. You want to basically just build up as many reserves as you can to not lose the fire. Once again, you turn, drift, hop, and you start drifting again to not lose reserves. Make sure not to hit that seal. You will take the shortcut. You turn, drift a little bit more. You know, always be drifting. Make sure you don't lose the fire. Now I'm gonna slow down right here. Okay, I'm gonna lose sick, uh, blue fire here just on purpose. If you don't have sacred fire coming to the uh, blue fire pad, I strongly recommend that you drift across it. That way you can build up some reserves if you have no reserves stored. But yeah, there is that. That is polar pass. Let's go over to the next one. I'm not sure where it is. I'll have to check the map. <laughs> but yeah, that's polar pass. Once again, if you have any questions. Just leave them in the comments below and I'll respond to them. Alright, up next, my favorite CTR track in the game, Hutter Skyway. Now a lot of people think that it's really, really hard to maintain blue fire on this track, which really, 
I think this is probably one of the easiest blue fire maps in the game. Don't be intimidated by you, tr you know, being able to fall off because there's no walls in this map. Anyways, you turning here is, you know, can help. And let's go. Take the blue fire pad, drift twice right here in this little section, jump, you can drift three times right here, and then you can U-turn. You can hop around that turn as well, I'll show you that lap too. Anyways, just keep on drifting, that way you don't lose uh, blue fire. You can also drift right here in this little section, if you drift really, really well. Now this upcoming part a lot of people have troubles with. You jump, you press Y, you air brake, just press Y. Do not U-turn there. There's, you can also U-turn it, but it's a little bit more tricky and requires a lot more inputs, I guess. <laughs> Personally, I like to air brake, but I understand that maybe uh, U-turning there is a lot faster, you know, if you're a speedrunner. Anyways, let's, do, let's try and hop around this time on lap two. Once again, drift twice right there to build up your reserves three times. Now you can go ahead and start hopping and continue to drift. You can either U-turn or hop around it. You can also jump right here to gain some air and hit that boost pad. Unfortunately, I missed it there, but once again, how to do an emergency U-turn again. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> about to lose it there. Um, but yeah, that's our Skyway. Really not too difficult. Make sure to jump, align yourself properly, and just press Y, and it's easy peasy. Yeah, that's our Skyway. I believe Engine Labs is next. Now, in my opinion, Engine Labs is really not that difficult if you know what you're doing. Um, first of all, building reserves on this track is pretty easy to do in my opinion. Make sure to drift, obviously uh, build up your reserves. You could have the first blue fire pad right here that you can take. Drifting twice right here if you're lagging maybe three times. In this tunnel, what you want to do is drift right at the end. That way you come out of the tunnel um, when, you're, when you're about to do your third boost. In this part of the track, you want to go to the right side. Keep drifting so you don't lose reserves. You can U-turn around these turns as well if you want to go a little bit faster and outline your opponents. Always keep on drifting. Now this turn is a lot of, it's tricky for some people. What you can do is either you can drift it or you can U-turn it like, like I did just there. U-turn this turn again and there we go. You can U-turn right here as well. I, I recommend U-turn. You can also hop around it. I guess I'll show you that on lap 3. Um, although it, it can be tricky. Basically, whenever you have blue fire, drifting at any time you can is essential to not lose the blue fire. Once again, drift when you're about to exit the tunnel, make sure you don't hit any walls. Once again, keep on drifting right here three times. Go to the right side. I'm not sure if the right side or the left side is faster. But once again, can you turn these turns right here? There's like three chances you can get blue fire on this track. So you can, you can hop around it, you don't even need a U-turn. You can jump. And there we go, you can also hop around it. But yeah, that's Engine Labs. Really not that difficult, I suggest you time trial it. It's really one of the easiest blue fire tracks, in my opinion. The infamous Cortex Castle, one of the hardest tracks in the game to maintain blue fire. Um, it's a very hard track for a lot of people. This track will really, really test you, and you're gonna have to practice this track a lot in order to maintain blue fire. This track will test you when it comes to U-turns. This track, you need to learn how to U-turn efficiently and how to maintain reserves really, really well. I strongly encourage you to have a really clean lap one and maintain your reserves for the first lap. If you, if you, you, you want to maintain a lot of reserves in the first lap in order to be able to keep a blue fire on lap two. Anyways, some reserves built up, let's go for it. Now, drift across this uh, blue fire ramp, you can make it easily. Drift three times right here, uh, make sure not to hit the wall. Drift run time right here, then you don't need to U-turn right here, you can just keep drifting. Make sure you get three turbos. U-turn, U-turn right there, U-turn right here. This is a lot to take in, I know. It requires a lot of practice. And then you turn. you can get one more drift right there. You're about to run out of reserves, and that's when you start drifting right at this corner right here. Drift two times again. You turn there over that around that turn. Jump over the, <laughs> over the shortcut. <laughs> let's do that again, okay? Let's see if I can do it. Drift three times, okay? To maintain some reserves that you really, really need on this track. Get one drift there. Get three right here. 
you don't, you can just hop around those you turn right here you can get one mini turbo right there one perfect and I lost it <laughs> but anyways like I mentioned in this track you really need to learn how to u-turn I strongly recommend that you go on time trial and practice this track um, you can take the lines I take, which are the lines I take, you know, online and during my time trials as well. But like I said, you want to be able to maintain reserves on this track, because this track, there is not a lot of places where you can build up your reserves. So that's why I'm saying you need a really, really good lap one in order to be able to maintain blue fire lap two. Don't hit any walls and stuff like that in order to be able to maintain blue fire during laps two and three. But yeah. That's Cortex Castle. If you have any other questions, let me know. Seems like Hub 4 is one, you know, world that a lot of people struggle on taking or maintaining. Blue Fire, excuse me. Anyways, Oxide Station is honestly not that bad. <laughs> At first, I really struggled on maintaining Blue Fire on this track, but really. Once again, U-turning is very, very essential to maintain blue fire on this track. And also understanding how to maintain reserves. However, it's easier to maintain blue fire on this track than it is on Cortex Castle. Um, as always, maintaining enough reserves on lap 1 will really, really help you on taking this blue fire pad and starting blue fire. Drift across it, U-turn right here, or you can also hop around it. You want to drift right here. It's but I failed. You turn right here. You can drift two times right here, or three times, depending on how you align yourself. You want to U-turn right here. This is the corner that a lot of people lose blue fire at, and you can keep it up. I didn't even drift a lot, and I still kept blue fire. Anyways, during during this turn, you can actually not even U-turn and just keep drifting across that little, you know, spiral. Now this turn is very very deadly, and you need to U-turn really really fast. One right here. One right here, and you should be fine. Also, this one right here requires a U-turn, and there we go. And let's try and do it again, lap three. Uh, once again, build up your reserves. Drift, 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 drift. Don't lose blue fire. Keep up your reserves. U-turn right here. You don't have to U-turn. You can also hop around it. Drift right here, maybe two or three times. Get ready to U-turn right there. Drift three times right here. This lap. You can just jump around that, drift twice to not lose blue fire. This one, you want to U-turn. You want to U-turn there every time. It doesn't matter when you U-turn either. This track, once again, if you need to do an emergency U-turn, go for it. The boost pads in this track really, really help you on maintaining blue fire. Once again, be careful around these turns. U-turn as many times as you can. Every time you can take a boost pad, take it. It helps you maintain your reserves. But yeah, that's Oxide Station. Let's go ahead and try and hopping around this time. You can even have you don't even need to hop it, you can just jump over it. There we go. Always, always take the boost pads if you can. If you miss them, and it's no big deal. Right here I'll just hop around it, U-turn. Drift it twice, U-turning right there. And there is that Toxic Station. Definitely one of the hardest tracks to maintain blue fire, but remember, practice makes perfect. And I strongly suggest that you time trial this track and learn what's your most comfortable way to U-turn at some of those turns. U-turning in this track is not very strict, which is why I'm saying it's really not that difficult if you get the hang of it. But yeah, that's Toxic Station. Clockwork Wampa is Definitely on the hardest tracks to maintain blue fire on. And it's mainly because of these like rotating things that can squish you along the way. Um, but learning how to U-turn in this track and just learning how to dodge these things makes this track a lot easier when it comes to maintaining blue fire. And I think it's one of those tracks that, you know, it's very fun to maintain blue fire on. Now, I'll, I'll try to explain very, very slowly <laughs> on how to maintain blue fire. I do apologize sometimes. I can't speak a little bit fast when it comes to these turns. Um, what I like doing in this track when it comes to maintaining blue fire is when you approach this ramp right here that gives you blue fire, just drift across it, get three little uh, boosts right there, 
drift three times right here and jump and then you turn right when you land you want to get three mini turbos to maintain your reserves you turn right here start drifting right here to get three your your uh, your drifting has to be very precise and right there you don't even need a u-turn just kind of like hop around it and then after that this track becomes a lot easier to maintain blue fire since there isn't a lot of things you need to dodge however the shortcut can be a little bit difficult once you jump right here you want to u-turn and then right when you land the blue fire the blue fire pad is back and you can if you lost blue fire you can you know try again once again you turn right here, take the three mini turbos right when you land. Three mini turbos again. You turn, start drifting so you don't lose blue fire. Right here, I'm gonna U turn because I had a bad angle. You turn again, I had a bad angle. And there it goes. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't maintain reserves. But yeah, this track is really not that difficult once you get over those um, things that can squish you. But yeah, that's Clockwork Wampa. Once again, U turning is very, very key very very like very very important to maintain blue fire so practice this track and you'll master clock uh, <laughs> clock fire wampa <laughs> clock were wampa but yeah that's that's that this track is a meme and i think and i consider it a meme because this track is really just full of blue fire everywhere and i honestly think it's the easiest track the easiest track to maintain blue fire on but there are some, I guess, some tips I guess I want to give when it comes to Electron Avenue. Um, like I said, there is blue fire everywhere. Like literally almost every ramp gives you blue fire, including this one right here. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. For the shortcut, if you can hop around that, uh, hop around, obviously you turn right there to the ramp. You don't have to rely on that, I guess, RNG for the rotation for the lasers, if they're going to hit you or not. In this turn right here, you want to U-turn. Same with this turn right here. Jump and then U-turn. U-turn right here. If you're if you're not confident that you want 10 reserves, just you can go ahead and drift across that boost pad. Drift two times right here. U-turn. Drift one more time. U-turn. This track has a lot of U-turns near the end, but other than that, this track is really not that difficult because once again, it's not it's not a big deal if you lose blue fire on this track. It's it's a very forgiving map because like I said there's a lot of blue fire and I definitely think if you need to practice blue fire this map is definitely one of the first ones after turbo track that you want to practice if you're having trouble with blue fire and maintaining it um, especially with speed characters I guess but yeah that's Electron Avenue um, not one of my favorite I mean I think the track looks really pretty but it's definitely on the easier side it's the easiest blue fire map in my opinion to Obviously maintain it and not lose it because of the amount of boost pads that have blue fire. But yeah, moving on to the next one that might be a bit harder. I absolutely hate this track. <laughs> Deep Sea Driving, I don't want to say it's hated by a lot of people, but um, it's... I just really dislike the blaze at the end. Anyways, this track, if you don't maintain reserves, it's really not that big of a deal. It's kind of it's kind of like Electron Avenue where if you if you lose blue fire, there's other blue fire paths that you know I lost blue fire right there, so it's not that big of a deal. If you lose it, there's a shortcut right here that you can take. You can drift twice or three times, and you can also take these boost paths right here. You don't need to drift here if you don't want if you don't want to. You can just take the boost pad; they'll help you maintain blue fire. It's actually recommended that you don't. Uh, drift in the tunnel because it kind of hinders the blades like the vision of the blades from you But let's go ahead and do it again um, Once again Maintaining reserves on this track is really not that big of a deal. Make sure you don't hit that blade right there um, This part is pretty simple. You can just literally just jump over these boost pads You don't even need to drift or anything, but you can if you want to just you know, so you can maintain up your reserves you turning can also help uh, dodging these blades, also air braking as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dodging those blades is a pain, and if you've played this track a lot, you know the pain of trying to dodge those. Um, U turning can help on this track, just like on any Blue Fire map. Um, that, there is also um, Fast Blue Fire and, and I guess Tier 1 Blue Fire in this track. Slow Blue Fire and Fast Blue Fire. 
I believe the ramps at the beginning and near the end give you fast blue fire, so you can notice that I go a lot faster compared to the ramp, to the, compared to the like blue fire that gives you from those ramps that you hop across. But you want to be really careful on this track, and it, it's really not that big of a deal if you lose it, because like I said, it's kind of like Electron Avenue where there's a lot of blue fire paths that you can take. Oh well, yeah, that's Electron Avenue. <laughs> Electron Avenue. <laughs> Deep sea driving. Um, definitely takes a lot of practice to do this uh, this track. Um, like I said, maintaining a lot of reserves is really not that big of a deal. You don't you don't need to maintain a lot of reserves because there's a lot of turbo paths that you can take, especially during the tunnel. But yeah, that's that. Let's move on from this track. Finally, <laughs> Tiny Temple is a really really great track to practice blue fire on, and <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are kind of masters at this track when it comes to blue fire, mainly because of the oxide ghost. Because the oxide ghost takes. Um, Oxide has blue fire for two laps for some reason. <laughs> they made tiny temples. Oxide goes very hard. I, I wouldn't know if it was the same in Crash Nitro Car because I've never played Crash Nitro Car. But, anyways, lap one obviously, you want to maintain up your reserves for blue fire. The blue fire ramp is coming up near the end. Um, I strongly recommend that you learn the lines for this track, uh, you time trial this track, um, because really, it's not, really not that big of a deal. Not that big, I mean, it's really not that hard. What am I saying? Anyways, take blue fire. You can you can drift twice right here to maintain up your reserves like I do. Drift once, drift twice, drift again. You can drift tw twice right here again to avoid uh, hitting those the wall, I guess. Right here, depending on what side the, the fire is on, you want to take the, the different path from that. Really, really, really fast for me to even explain <laughs> what is going on. So we'll go ahead and do lap 3 right now, once again. Drift twice right here to maintain up your reserves. You can also drift twice and then you turn right here if you're scared of taking that third one. Um, drift twice right here. Once again, depending on the f where the fire is at, you want to avoid that. You can drift across the, the right path right there. And then right here, you want to jump. Just jump and you'll always m make it to the shortcut. Really, really easy blue fire map um, if you know how to take the lines. Whoa, there! I never, <laughs> I've never seen that before. But yeah, uh, for some reason my times are like super, super good on this track. I totally forgot I was like trying to get like top five and <laughs> for for Tiny Temple. <laughs> one forty out of one forty-one. That's hilarious. But yeah, like I said, learning the lines in this track and learning how to maintain your reserves is really not that difficult. It's just about dodging the fire that can be difficult online because you don't know where it's gonna be once you get past the fire part this track is very very easy um, but like I said you will learn how to take blue fire on this map because of the oxide goes if you ever go for that maintaining reserves is great on this track for lap one and then lap two you kill it even if you miss some drifts it's not that big of a deal because you maintain those reserves for lap one but yeah that's tiny temple now this is the hardest blue fire track in my opinion thunderstruck is my absolute favorite track when it comes to the crash natural card tracks because first of all it has an amazing song an amazing theme theme slaps in the remake um let's get to it though i'm gonna have to be really careful at explaining uh thunderstruck obviously maintain your reserves drift right here in this uh little mini pad uh, tour blue fire pad right here you want to drift three times, you turn, you turn again, then you can drift, if you keep pressing the, if you keep pressing right, you can keep maintaining blue fire, <laughs> this track is so hard when it comes to blue fire, guys, anyways, drift twice right here, you can drift three times right here, um, you can U-turn if you'd like, oh, you're gonna have to, emergency U-turn right there, <laughs> this track is very hard even for me. Um, anyways, once again, drift twice, you turn right here, drift to left, drift three times, drift once right there, you turn, drift three times, you can drift again, the power of you turning is amazing, <laughs> and I lost it, but that's okay. I want to explain, I want I wanted to explain this end part right here. If you lose blue fire along, along, you know, before this, you can take it again right here. Um, once you take that blue fire pad, you want to immediately drift if you have no reserves, or you can also drift across it. 
you turn obviously this blue fire is slower um, so maintaining blue fire should be easier um, hitting the, the turbo pass will also will also <laughs> help you maintain it try three times right here make sure to not hit those you turn you turn again and then in this spiral once again you want to drift across maintaining reserves you can also drift once right here to maintain it and there you go easy clappers now that's what I'm talking about thunderstruck is very hard and I strongly recommend that you time trial this track um, in fact let me do it again <laughs> Let me do it again, just to explain things a little bit more in detail. Now, you really, really need to find out which lines you you are comfortable with, because sometimes, you know, trying to take my lines might be a little harder for you. Um, basically, you turning and keeping up reserves is very, very important on this track, if you haven't noticed by now. You turning especially is very important, very, very important. Once again, drift, you don't even need to jump, just drift. You turn right here, two or three times, drift once again, you turn, spiral. When it comes to this turn right here, you just, if you have blue fire, just you turn around it really. You should still have it if you maintain enough reserves. But yeah, there's Thunderstruck. I am willing to make a separate video for Thunderstruck because Thunderstruck is just that difficult. Um, if you have any questions about Thunderstruck, please let me know down below. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. Move on to the next one. <laughs> Out of time can be difficult if you don't know how to take the fence shortcut. The fence shortcut is very, very important to maintain, uh, or rather to learn, what am I saying? <laughs> Obviously, lap one you won't have a blue fire, but basically just align yourself up properly to learn that shortcut. I'm not going to go in detail on how to make that shortcut, because um, I want to focus on blue fire. Anyways, um, you're turning, obviously, very, very important. Very, very important to um, maintaining blue fire on this track, because there are some turns that can be nasty <laughs> when it comes to maintaining blue fire on this track. But really, this track after the fence shortcut isn't really that difficult. and this turn right here anyways let's get to it you get blue fire drift once then immediately jump and then drift three times right here you want to jump so you don't hit any walls then you take the shortcut right here drift three times drift twice align yourself up properly you turn drift you always want to be drifting always want to be drifting to maintain your reserves now in this like little turn right here just your turn around it get ready to drift drift twice jump Take the shortcut. Now you can get three drifts right here. Now this 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 is difficult. Uh, you turn, you turn, and then I <laughs> I lost it somehow. Let's try that again for lap three. You can also U-turn right there to make things easier. If you're scared of hitting that wall, U-turn is a blessing uh, for maintaining the fire. Once again, the shortcut. Don't choke. U-turn when you jump around that fence. You make sure you U-turn, that way you don't hit any walls. Uh, I'm gonna drift twice right here maybe, mm, probably not. Once again, drift to maintain up your reserves, make the shortcut. Really after the fence, shouldn't be that difficult. Especially, well this turn can be difficult like I mentioned. U-turn, and there you go, that's out of time. Um, if you know how to, if you know how to, if you know what... Uh, can I speak today? If you know how to take proper proper drift in this track and maintaining your reserves it, it's really not that difficult but yeah that's out of time if you have any questions out of four out of time let me know this was a bit rough but yeah that's out of time hyperspace flame intimidates a lot of people but really it's on the right track anyways at the first start when you start hyperspace way you want to be drifting and if you're like me you can drift three times right here to um, keep blue fire and not lose it when you land. Anyways, I'm kind of just going to show off how I do a lap one of hyperspace with and then lap two I will kind of go over things slowly on how to maintain it. 
for these turns right here is a is a killer for people. You can just U-turn around them. Really not that difficult if you go on time trial and kind of practice U-turning around them with blue fire. Um, now during this 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 little section right here can be it's it's kind of like tricky. This blue fire pad very important. This blue fire pad will give you faster blue fire, and you can basically just just keep on maintaining reserves. Um, always want to be drifting whenever you can, taking a shortcut that way you know people don't pass you <laughs> when you land. Obviously, <laughs> or you, you know you can lose it like I did. Anyways. Like I said, these turns right here can be quite difficult, but you can actually just, um, like I said, you can U-turn around them. Let's go ahead and do a lap three. Let's have a clean lap three. Um, I strongly recommend that you kind of like, um, these kind of work like sewer speedway half pipes, where you can kind of like drift on them, I guess. Anyways, drift two or three times right there to maintain blue fire, um, take the shortcut right when you get out of the portal right when you land you can drift once right there and make sure to not to hit the fire you turn across these like figure eights I guess always you want to be drifting sometimes you want to be drifting um, over blue fire pads always always if you're low on reserves there's hyperspaceway I will go over that one more time I know that was a lot to take in oh well Rip my! I had no nitro boost, and Wampa coin just reset. That's great, awesome. <laughs> I will go over it one more time. Once again, reserves very, very important. There's not a lot of use running on this track besides a figure eight, but yeah, drift twice right here. Drift three times up in the air when you're about to take the the ramp. You turn right there if you're about to hit the wall. Drift three times after the portal. Drift twice, jump. Make sure not to hit this wall right here, you will lose blue fire. Drift two times right there after uh, before the portal. U-turn, U-turn right there. And then drift across this uh, boost pad, obviously to maintain reserves. You can, you know, I guess you can drift around those uh, half pipes. Make sure you take that boost pad because it's very important to get uh, fast blue fire. Drift twice in midair, and it begins again. Hyperspaceway is really not that difficult. I don't think it's very difficult to maintain in blue fire. It's just about these turns, these turns right here that a lot of people mess up on. But if you learn how to dodge these turns with U turns, you'll do great on this track. You'll lap people online. It's a really fun track too. I strongly encourage that you guys uh, time trial it. But yeah, always remember that this pad right here gives you blue fire, which is why, you know, it feels it feels faster than the blue fire that you get from the beginning. Don't freak out, U-turn if you have to, to not hit these turns. But yeah, that's Hyperspace Way. Once again, if you have questions, let me know. Let's finish this race, I guess, while we're at it. Always take, I guess you can take what I, the lines I take right here. Um, there's obviously a faster way, but I, I kind of want to do the easier lines for, for people that are trying to learn blue fire. Always be drifting. Drift across the blue fire pads. And it's pretty easy after that. As always, any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Twilight Tour, the first DLC map for Crash Team Race Natural Field, and it's very first track, I guess, for, for Binox to design anyways the blue fire on this track is very straightforward um, I don't think you even need to use on this track at all <laughs> really but we will go over it okay anyways the first blue fire pad that you will encounter is coming up right here um, as always maintain your reserves so you can keep blue fire after you get it you can drift two times right here you can also take the shortcut I prefer not taking the shortcut mainly because I'd rather keep up more reserves it's up to you though what you do taking this ramp right here is very very important because that ramp that blue fire pad right there gives you fast blue fire and it's blue fire that obviously it's faster and it's faster than the than the blue fire ramp at the beginning um, so always always go for that go for that ramp right there anyway the blue fire right here in this part of the map 
always, we, always, you know, you want to be drifting, then you can just jump across this one, jump across to that, like this, the pier right there, and just continue with your lap one strats. Really, yeah, that difficult of a track. I think it's pretty straightforward. I mean, if you want to take the shortcut, you can. Make sure you just U-turn when you come out of it. Once you have fast boot fire, don't even risk about. It. Don't even risk going for the, for the, for the ramp. Just keep on driving. Just make sure to not hit any walls. And then here, you don't even need to U-turn. You can just kind of just jump over it. Right here during the shortcut, you can. Once you land, you can drift twice. Then you can U-turn right here. Take the boost pad. And always keep drifting. Always, always keep drifting, keeping up your reserves. Um, you can drift once right here if you'd like, and then you turn so you don't, you know, fall. Make sure to not hit the, the guy right there, give you into the Wampa Fruits. Um, kind of messed up there a little bit, so I'm not gonna take the shortcut. Once again, the fire pad, or I mean the blue fire pad right here, gives you fast blue fire. Remember, remember that, my friends. You wanna take that if you wanna. <laughs> If you're racing another guy, that's really good up with blue fire. But yeah, that's all I tore. Really not that difficult. I would say this track requires like maybe two U-turns, maybe one. I don't even think you even need to U-turn in this track. Once you learn how to take lines on this track with blue, with fast blue fire, um, this track is pretty pretty simple. But yeah, that's Twilight Tour. Let's move on to the last one, which is Prehistoric Playground. And then for the Spiral track, I will do a separate video for that track on how to maintain blue fire but last one prehistoric playground let's do it all right prehistoric playground now this is the august dlc track for the back in time grand prix um this track can be hard it can be hard starting off strong with blue fire i like to drift across it because obviously it maintains your reserves um, there's also a shortcut that will take lap two in this turn, you can actually drift three times, right here, uh, before the little dinosaur tail. You can drift twice, jump, drift when you drift when you land, drift three times around this turn. Um, if you get hit by that, no big deal. It actually can give you some, a little bit more reserves. Now, when taking the shortcut right here, um, you want to jump right here and then just not jump after it. U-turn right there. The U-turn right there is uh, very important because you obviously don't want to hit the, like the ramp and fall off and you know lose the race <laughs> um, that ramp also gives you blue fire right there at the end so if you lost it along the way you can take that ramp again um, other than that this track is really not the hard I think the hardest part about this track is at the end right here you can take the shortcut but you gotta be really precise when you jump there at the end to take the shortcut um, maintaining reserves on this track is really not that hard because this track is like really 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 open so keeping reserves should not be a problem. Um, but inside this cave right here, it can be tricky. And you really want to be careful not to hit any walls. Jump! Don't... I guess I messed up my jump. <laughs> That's okay though, let's, fin let's finish this track really quick. Um, you, can, you only need to jump once. I think I just kind of jumped a little bit too high there and ended up falling off. Once again, blue fire, you know, if you're like me and lost it, <laughs> you can take it again. Uh, both blue fire paths seem to be about the same speed, though. If it's not, you know, feel free to correct me. Take the shortcut. The, the pad will also help you maintain reserves. You turn right there, like me, if you kind of didn't take good lines to take three drifts. But yeah, other than that, this track is really not that difficult. It's very open, like I said, so it shouldn't be that hard to maintain reserves the fire you just want to be really careful here at the end to not hit any any uh, any walls you turn right there is very important right when you jump you can also drift three times and make sure you turn so you don't hit the wall and there's that that's all the tracks and how to maintain the fire and crash some racing so now that we've done all the tracks well I guess turned it off. Let me check the pit stop before I end the video. But yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. Blue fire is very hard, even for even for pro players, for speedrunners. Sometimes during their runs, they lose blue fire just for a little mistake. This game is very, very unforgiving. Very unforgiving. 
you hit a wall, you lose blue fire. You get hit by an item, you lose blue fire. If you don't have enough reserves, you lose blue fire. So don't feel bad. Your best friend is time trials. It really is. And practicing the blue fire maps and how to maintain reserves, how to U-turn. U-turning is super important. I cannot stress that enough. It's very easy to. It's, it's not... At first, it can be hard. But once you got the hang of it, it's super easy and very reliable mechanic to be able to maintain blue fire with. Blue fire and U-turning are literally... They, they need each other to, I guess, just stay in the race. Um, let me check the pitch up really quick. Ooh, <laughs> Mad Scientist Ruparu, let's go. Let me buy this bad boy really quick. Uh, I guess another Dika, cool. And then, Yellow Lava Rock, cool. I now have all the, <laughs> the pit stuff cleared anyways. But yeah, like I was saying, don't feel bad if you lose blue fire online, if you lose blue fire during your time trials. Not everyone is perfect. Speedruns are also not perfect. You wanna be able to you don't just don't feel bad if you lose it. Blue fire is very it's a very it's very it's it's a hard mechanic. And with time, you know, people will master it. Some people have already. Um, practice makes perfect and you'll eventually get better at blue fire just need to learn how to u-turn properly where to u-turn emergency u-turns keeping up your reserves being feeling comfortable and drifting at the perfect time really helps a lot with that being said if you liked it if you like this video i usually don't upload on my youtube channel i usually stream on twitch I'm currently streaming breath of the wild and crash team racing speedruns, online races uh you know grinding the leaderboards it's awesome Last season I got number 8 for championship leaderboard and it was amazing. For this season I'm kind of just taking it easy <laughs> and speedrunning, you know, trying to get better at the game. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you hope this guide was helpful. I know on some specific tracks it was hard to explain because of how fast the blue fire was. That I couldn't explain every little detail. But as always, if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, have a good day and see you next time.